Hi, welcome back to what is going to be my first video on my YouTube account. I deleted all my other videos and am starting fresh for the new year. 2023 was kind of a disaster, but also a good test run. I had so much crazy things happen in 2023 and I'm excited to just kind of leave that behind and start new. And so this year I am in, I am returning to my tried and true size, the mini happy planner size. I have my cover here from cloth and paper, which I am obsessed with. It is so luxurious. I got it during her um, like Black Friday deal and got such a good deal on it. I actually have it in another color and I'm exclusively using cloth and paper covers for Mini Happy Planner now because they just fit so perfectly and allows me to use whatever disc size I want. I'm using Levenger discs. I always use aluminum discs for my Mini Happy Planner because um, it really allows the pages to turn beautifully. But today I want to do a flip through of my current setup, which is set up for December because we are leaving December and we are about to start a new year, 2024. So I wanna show you what my planner is currently looking like for December, what sections I have in here. And then I'm also gonna set it up for January so you can see how I have it, see what I'm gonna have in my planner for the new year. And so it's gonna be a pretty, um, detailed video because I'm going to talk through everything like where everything's from um, and all that good stuff. So in the pockets here I have um, these cloth and paper journaling cards. She includes these in her subscription boxes. She also includes these in her orders and they're just so chic and perfect for um, decorating pockets. And then here I have the pink tone sheet from Sweet Crest Designs. And her pink tones are my favorite stickers to use in my planner. And so I love that she has all the pink tones on one sheet so I can see um, which color I want to use for my spread. I kind of use this as a key, but I also use this as decor for my planner. So that goes in here. I also have a discount code for her shop. It is Diana 15 and so you can get 15% off anything in her shop. Is that the right pocket? No. What pocket did I have this in? There we go. I just love how they kind of layer right there. I usually put this one up a little bit because I love that little scene, but I don't want to hide the French text. And so I love how this um, like Parisian French vibe is going on here. And so this is just a clear, um, I think I got this a lot of shops sell um, clear 
dashboards. I think I got this from Planner Press and I just cut it. If it's not exactly the same size as my, because sometimes they can have it, make it a little oversized to protect dividers or whatnot. And so I like mine to be the exact size as the mini happy planner inserts which is 4.6 by 7 and so i'll just use a, use a paper trimmer to cut it down and so that's my protective cover for my dashboard this dashboard is from latua notes it comes in a set and i just printed it on a um a special kind of paper it's like a linen type paper and it I love the way it feels it kind of has like a pink tint to it this was a freebie from crystal plans and I printed it on mini happy planner size paper from handy forms and then on the back of that is another freebie from crystal plans this is a note from my sister. Um, sometimes I just, I printed these um, grid paper that I purchased from Jacenia Printables, which is no longer in stock, but I like to have my inserts double-sided or my dashboards double-sided. These aren't really dashboards, they're just blank paper. I kind of use this as an inbox for sticky notes and just random things. I used to have an in, inbox tab here, but it was kind of bulking up my planner and I don't really need to know that this is an inbox, but I'll stick all my sticky notes here of just random thoughts, ideas, like this is a mental note of how, of what I'm thinking of using my common planner for. This is another dashboard that came in that set from Latua Notes. I printed it double-sided on that same type of linen paper. This is a, um, a graphic or like an art type print I got on Etsy from UNI Graphics. I printed it on vellum so it would be see-through. This is from Perfective Paper, her Christmas bundle. And then these monthly inserts are from Kika Printables. And these are what I'll be using for, these are what I think I'll be using for 2024. I put a few in here to set I printed them all out because I like how they have lines and I see four clients, four to five clients a day. And so I like to have the lines already set for me so I can kind of know where my appointments are. And so these monthly, oh, this is the overview that I kind of use to mark where my month is so I can easily flip to it when I'm scheduling an appointment. This monthly dashboard is a freebie, I believe, from Crystal Plans. I printed this pattern on the back, which came in a, um, a notebook bundle that I purchased from Jacenia Printables. She is no longer um, in the yes, monthly yes. section. I usually like to have a one that begins the section and then one that ends the section. And then I always put my Sterling Ink Vellum to start my weekly section. It's just so pretty. I think this is this comes in her subscription box, but it also is a freebie that she sends out. This is the B6 size that I trimmed down to mini happy planner size. 
and I layer it over that same linen paper. And then this is another one of those Crefective paper. Um, dashboards that I just kind of glued over one of the month or one of the weekly inserts. These are the weekly inserts I was using in December. I used a variety of weekly inserts. I was testing out with Crefective paper, just trying to see what I wanted to use. Um, I wasn't really, I really liked, what I like for weekly inserts is to have one space. I always need to have a space for my appointments. I need a space for day specific to do's and then I need a space for um, just ongoing to do's. And then I like to track my habits. So this is how that week looked appointments. Um, I don't think I had day specific to do's on this one. So they just kind of piled up over here. My routines, appointments, day specific to do's, routines, um, non my master to do list. I liked having this notes section because these are the to-dos I'm kind of waiting on. Like I did my part of it and now I'm just kind of waiting for something else to happen. This has been my favorite layout from Crefective Paper. I love Crefective Paper because she has so many different options for weekly. And these are all undated and I dated them with the date dots that um, come in the subscription kits or Crefective, uh, not Crefective, Sterling Ink. So all this deco is Sterling Ink. Um, and then these more functional deco, like this, 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 is Sweet Caress, which I also have a discount code for. I have a discount code for this, for Crefective paper as well. I'll leave everything below. And I believe this is cloth and paper. So it's fun to be able to try. If you're not sure what you wanna do for your weekly inserts, it's nice to get some undated inserts and just test them out. This week was week of Christmas, so I didn't really do a lot of, I might go back and put some of my deco on here. I do that a lot, like I, the main purpose of my planner is to plan and it to be functional. And then occasionally I'll go back with my stickers and make it aesthetically pleasing. And so if I have um, a blank page like that, so these were actually some of Crefective Paper's dated ones. And so, because it's like a blank page in between, I might just like tape that together. So when I archive it, it's just, I need to date these with stickers where I could even write them in, but I just need a cohesive um, thing, a cohesive way of reflecting on the year. Today's Saturday the 30th. I didn't really have any plans for today, so I'm filming this video. Appointments, master to do. These are where I'm writing my to-do list. And then I really, because I got in the habit of having waiting on, I decided to do my waiting on on a post-it note so I can just kind of take it and like move it from week to week. And then I created a little habits here since this one doesn't have the habits like this one. So all that to say, um, I'm still kind of figuring out 
what I want to do for my weekly section. This is a um, freebie from Crystal Plans. And then again, I like to kind of end my section with a, normally I would have like a, a weekly's header, but because it was December, I decided to print these out for fun. This is a new section to me. I've posted about it in my stories on Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I do a lot of tips on how to plan and how to be organized. But this is my routine section. This is a dashboard from cloth and paper, vellum from cloth and paper, dashboard from cloth and paper. This is like my all time favorite from cloth and paper. This routine uh, insert is from Crefective Paper. It's, she sends a, a document where you can edit and put your um, daily habits, your weekly habits and your monthly habits. This was really helpful for me as I was trying, as I um, was filling out my weekly inserts. And then this is also part of the bundle from Latua Notes that I purchased. I just printed it on regular paper and it's just kind of like a reminder to be. I like all my decorative dashboards to also be kind of functional. So sticking this one in here as a reminder to like take a break, especially in the routine section. Give yourself what it needs. I'm thirsty for relaxation. It is very important that you give yourself time to relax. Our society doesn't really, Western society doesn't really allow for that sometimes. So I'm going to be filling this out um, soon, hopefully before the new year, just as another reference, kind of similar to this but more day specific because I like to have, I like to assign tasks to specific days because if I don't, it kind of leaves my mind. So um, especially like work tasks or um, home tasks, like Sunday I like to wash my bedding or like reset the house or restock supplies and so that's kind of like a routine I have to kind of make assigned to a specific day or it just kind of feels chaotic throughout the week if I'm just kind of doing it as it needs to be done instead of like setting time, specific time during the week to do it when I have time. And then um, like Thursdays, I kind of make that Mondays and Thursdays or Mondays and Fridays are like admin tasks for work. So I kind of make sure I organize my emails and file things. And so this can be really helpful to like structure my week and carve out time for specific tasks that don't otherwise have a place. And um, that way, having it written now, I can then um, use this as a reference when I go to plan my week. I can um, add that to my day specific to do's. So these are from May Paper Co. I'm kind of getting into how I plan instead of just talking through what's in my planner. And the next section, these dividers, by the way, are from May Paper Co. as well. I love her dividers. She has so many cute colors, and she also has top tab dividers. 
I have every color she has so I can change them out through the year. And so this is my next section. This vellum is from Cloth and Paper. Cloth and Paper. And I also like to, even though they seem kind of random and decorative, I also like to coordinate them to the section. Like, this is intentional. Like, Asti, I, f I forget how she pronounces that word. Someone with deep sensitivity to beauty of art or nature. And so that kind of represents like aesthetic to me. And, and this is my social media planner and I'm all about like aesthetic planning. And, um, and so that's why I chose that dashboard for this section. And so I, I've been trying out these social media calendar inserts from Perfective Planner. This insert is just kind of like my plan. And then um, I might go in here for specific months to, but this is like a goal for what I wanna post. So it's like a reference for me. And then this is a freebie I got from, um, oh my gosh, her Instagram is escaping me and I had to cut it off to make it fit for Mini Happy Planner. Um, I'll have to link it below. I believe this one is also from her. This is from Justenia Printables. It's the same um, bundle that this came on, but it doesn't really matter because she's no longer in business. And then this is from May Note Paper from May Paper Co. So this is like my note section. I like having notes paper like or just like lined paper because you can also kind of use this for lists or just jotting down notes. I actually have a lot of notes that I kind of scribble on memo pads and then I'll kind of go in here to make them more um, legible to keep as a reference. And this is a reference section as well. This has all the planner sizes because I I use multiple planners and sometimes it's helpful to know how the sizes compare, especially if you're printing inserts. And then these are all the colors of the different sticky notes I have. I have them in here. And so when I'm putting spreads together, I like to know which ones like correlate together because some of them are cool toned, some of them are warm toned. And so I like my spreads to be cohesive with my sticker choices. And so I just kind of have pages to um, show my Tombos and stickers and how they all look together. And then these are random inserts that I have the intention of filling out because they've come in cloth and paper subscription boxes and I feel like they would be good references at some point like this cleaning chores this packing list especially this packing list I feel like this would really simplify traveling if I had a packing list to reference but I just haven't gotten to it a random list kind of like the same one. I used to have my passwords in here, but it was making me feel too vulnerable when I would do flip throughs, so I took it out. And this, I just think is so cute. These are all the sweet Cress color palettes, so it's kind of like a key of, so I know what colors I wanna order when I place an order with their shop. And this is a cloth and paper uh -huh. This just came with one of her subscription boxes one day and it just looks so cute because I am a cloth and paper connoisseur 
And then this also came in a cloth and paper subscription box at one point. I've been a subscriber to cloth and paper since 2020. So I have just so much random decor that I normally wouldn't buy for myself. And so I love subscribing to her boxes because it just gives me things I can put in my planner. And it's Jador, if you couldn't tell, I love all things French and Paris. And I love that. I love keeping like a consistent decor theme throughout my planner. And then uh, this is just like a textured dashboard that has letters on it from cloth and paper. And you can actually color in the letters to create like a word if you wanted to. And then this is another one of those dashboards that came in the Litua notes. I just put it, I printed it on the linen paper and then I put it in a, like a, a protective sleeve that I purchased from Dezo and then I punched it. And so it kind of acts as like a, a protective like page lifter. And then I put this 2024 calendar that came in my May paper co-order. So that is my current planner situation. I'm trying to decide if I should do this setup or if this video is long enough. I think this video is long enough. I will do a separate video for my planner setup so you can see what it looks like. I'm gonna take every everything out, all these things out and um, replace them with January. So, if you would like to see how I update this for the new year, see the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.